Hey guys, welcome back to the dark side. This is my first Hero Factory villain review. Set 2231 Waspix. So, there's the box. Let me back up my camera a little bit. There's his ugly mug. 2231, 716, 48 pieces. Uh, I seem to recall it. The US price comes out to 30 cents per piece or so. I'm not quite sure about that. Um,. Average price for Hero Factory. Nothing really special there. As for the pieces, uh, I'd say for mocking possibilities, this is quite a good set. It comes with a yellow beast-like helmet, which could be used for a next 3.0 mock, which I will be doing probably. Um, some other highlights include a yellow, a yellow chest plate piece. We got a yellow one for... Um, jet bug but that wasn't this yellow that was kind of the cream yellow this is the evo yellow uh we got some more of these pieces we got four of them unlike scorpio we get some we get this piece which is in three which is up until now the only way you can get this piece however we will in the future be getting more of them with i think toxic reaper for the 4.0 4 series. And we will be getting more with... Um, what's his name? Thornrax, yeah. So here is his unique armor piece. Which is kind of scale scaled, I guess. We get three of those. And uh, here is the longest Hero Factory armor piece ever. It's, um, I think, an 8 long? Yeah, 8 long. So this is the longest, and it's in clear yellow. Now, I was putting the Fire Lord's armor up next to it, which was uh, the leg armor of the Fire Lord, which was the longest piece up until then, and it just was completely dwarfed by this. So this is by far, quite by far the largest piece we've ever gotten. Hero Factory armor piece. And um, we get Quasar Spikes, we get Spikes, normal Spikes, we get uh, forearm pieces. Overall, I think this is a great set for mocking. And at a reasonable price, I'd say, for Hero Factory, I like it a lot. Now, uh, there is one thing I'd actually like to show, and I'm going to compare, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare Waspix's mask to Scorpio's. Because here's Scorpio's mask, who I have off to the side, and they're exactly the same as you can see. Except Nex is in yellow, or uh, Waspix is in yellow. But anyway, let's get right into the build. So... Let's uh, start building this guy. And folks, here we are back with Waspix, fully assembled into his wasp-like body. Now, something I failed to mention when I was showing you the parts is that he includes these same spikes that the Witch Doctor came with, and the parts list claims he comes with two, which is not true. He comes with about eight, or at least mine came with, which is cool. Uh, way more than he actually needs. You could add more onto him, but... I only added the two because I threw the other ones with my Hero Factory parts with uh, the rest of them. But, very nice. I think it's very imposing, menacing. 
I find though his neck is a little bit long. Now, if that's only if you're looking at him from the side, which you could do, of course, because this has two balls in it, is you could raise it up a ball, but that leaves the uh, ladder ball joint in his mouth, which is kind of strange. So I'll just leave it the way I, it was intended to be constructed. Anyway, very nice. I like this design quite a lot. It's not, it's nothing special, but it's just unique enough to be nice. I would recommend this set to mockers and children alike. It has play value. It, you could, it could, you could, it's supposed to be able to fly, I think. You can imagine it swooping down and uh, getting someone. For a size comparison with a hero, here he is next to Ferno, who I just reviewed. And his head is about at about the same height, but of course, Waspix has a lot more mass because he is uh, a lot more parts, and his legs are compressed and stuff, and he has more arms. Overall, very nice set. Uh, one other comparison that I could give is to Scorpio, who I don't know where I put his mask because I was showing the masks off earlier, but uh, oh, there it is, right there on the ground. There's Scorpio. So as you can see, they do look like quite different creatures. They look like they could be related, but they do look certainly different. They did a good job with that, I think, pulling off the, using the identical masks. Quite nice. But that's all I had to say about Waspix. If you enjoyed this review, stay tuned, because I'm going to be reviewing more Hero Factory in the future, I hope. And possibly more Lego, like Technic and Systems. But I'll see you guys later. And thanks for visiting the dark side. See you guys in my next Hero Factory or Transformers review. Bye.